Good afternoon. And before we begin the, the public hearing, I will make the following announcement. City Council committees are currently meeting remotely. We are using Microsoft Teams to make these remote hearings possible. Instructions for how the public may view and offer testimony at public hearings of council committees are included in the pu public hearing notices that are published in the Daily News, Inquirer, and Legal Intelligence here prior to the hearings and can also be found on phlcouncil.com. I now note that the hour has come. And Madam Clerk, will you please call the roll to take attendance? Members that are in attendance will please indicate that you are present when your name is called. Also, please say a few brief words when responding so that your image will be displayed on screen when you speak. Madam Clerk. Councilwoman Gauthier. Um, good afternoon, Madam Chair and colleagues. I'm present. Good afternoon. Thank you. Councilwoman Brooks. Good morning, Madam Chair and colleagues. I am present. Good afternoon. Thank you. Uh, Councilman Johnson. Here. Yeah. Councilman Jones. Good afternoon, Madam Chair, colleagues, I'm present. Councilman Harity. I am present. Thank you. Councilman Thomas. No Thomas, but that's okay. We have met quorum. Okay, very good. Thank you. A quorum of the committee is present and this hearing is now called to order. This is the public hearing of the committee on Parks, Recreation and Cultural Affairs regarding bill number 230576. Madam Clerk, will you please read the title of the bill? Bill number 230576, an ordinance renaming and designating the property, property commonly referred to as the Charles Baker Recreation Center located at 5433 Lansdowne Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, as a Charles Baker and Carol Baker Rice Recreation Center. Thank you. Before we begin to hear testimony from the witnesses we have for today, everyone who has been invited to the meeting to testify should be aware that this public hearing is being recorded. Because the hearing is public, participants and viewers have no reasonable expectation of privacy. By continuing to be in the meeting, you are consenting to being recorded. Additionally, Prior to recognizing members for the questions or comments they have for witnesses, I will note for the record at this time that we will use the chat feature available in Microsoft Teams to allow members to signify that they wish to be recognized. In order to comply with the Sunshine Act, the chat feature must only be used for this purpose. And before I call on the clerk to, uh, before I call on the clerk to call the first panel, would any of my colleagues like to make opening comments? Okay, I don't see anyone. No opening comments. Okay, Madam Clerk, will you please call the first panel of witnesses we have to testify today? Sure, I would first like to call um, Orlando Rendon. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Chairwoman Bass and members of the Committee on Parks and Recreation and Cultural Affairs. My name is Orlando Rendon, Philadelphia Parks and Recreation's Acting Commissioner, and I am here today to testify in support of Bill Number 230576, an ordinance renaming and designating the property commonly referred to as the Charles Baker Recreation Center, located at 5433 Lansdowne Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, as the Charles Baker and Carol Baker Rice Recreation Center. Thank you to the bill sponsor, Council Member Curtis Jones, who continuously devotes much time and resources to Baker Playground. The Baker Playground is named after Charles Baker, who died in 1963 and was at the time the City of Philadelphia's Commissioner of Record. He was the first African American department head in the City of Philadelphia. Mrs. Rice was Mrs. Baker's only child, and after college at Penn State University, she began a 35 year career with the Philadelphia Department of Recreation. Her recreation journey began as a summer play leader, 
She retired as a deputy commissioner who worked under Michael DeBerdinas, who became her lifelong good friend. After Mrs. Rice's retirement, she was appointed to the newly created Commission on Parks and Recreation in 2009 by Mayor, Mayor Michael Nutter, who reappointed her in 2012. Several years later, I worked with Mrs. Rice on an Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Inc. Playground initiative at Dundee Playground. But a few years before, she and the sorority renewed Baker Playground, Mrs. Rice's dad's namesake. Mrs. Rice also served on the Baker Recreation Center Advisory Council to ensure community input. Throughout her trailblazing career with the Department of Recreation, Mrs. Rice was respected and revered for her tireless advocacy for children and families. Renaming this beloved playground will recognize Mrs. Rice's legacy and dedication to public service. Today, I appear before you to offer the support of Philadelphia Parks and Recreation for this legislation and respectfully ask that the City Council approve Bill number 230576. I am happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you for your testimony. Are there any questions for the commissioner? No, okay. All right, thank you, commissioner. Uh, can we have Madam Clerk please call the next uh, person to testify? Yes, Charlene Collins. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please state your name for the record and proceed with your testimony. Charlene Collins. President of Alpha Cap Alpha Sorority Incorporated Omega Omega Chapter. Okay, please proceed. Thank you. Good afternoon, Chairperson Bass and members of the Committee on Parks and Recreation and Cultural Affairs. My name is Ellen Collins, President of Alpha Cap Alpha Sorority Incorporated Omega Omega Chapter. Today, I am here in support of Bill Number Two Three Zero Five Seven Six. Um, the renaming of Charles Baker Recreation Center, um, located 5433 Lansdowne Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, to the Charles, B Charles Baker and Carol Baker Rice Recreation Center. Carol Baker Rice is the daughter of Charles Baker and was born on April 11, 1943, one block south of the Charles Baker Recreation Center. She attended Heston Elementary and graduated from the Philadelphia High School for Girls. Upon graduation from Penn State University, she began her career with the Philadelphia Department of Recreation, where she served as a summer play leader and retired as deputy director. Her continuous advocacy for our youth is demonstrated in the numerous roles she held within the Department of Recreation over her 35 years of service. In addition to her to the service to families and youth of Philadelphia, she was also an active member of Alpha Cap Alpha Sword Incorporated Omega Omega Chapter. She had 59 years of service at the time of her death, and she had reached the status of a golden member of her 50 years or more service. Upon her retirement from the city of Philadelphia, she still remained av an advocate for sustaining our local recreation centers as an outlet for the city's youth. Carol also served as the co-chairman of Omega Omega's AKA 1908 Playground Project, where we beautified four playgrounds in Western North Philadelphia, one of those being Baker Recreation Center. I would be remiss if I didn't thank Councilman Jones for his support of the Baker Project back then and his sponsoring of this bill. Carol also remained a member of the Baker Recreation Advisory Council to ensure the community voice was heard. She was a founding member of the 1926 Foundation Incorporated, where she served as president for nine years. And during her tenure, the 1926 Foundation Incorporated provided hundreds of thousands of dollars in scholarship to Philadelphia high school students pursuing higher education. Carol Baker Rice was a proud native of West Philadelphia who never forgot her roots. She was a servant leader and a staunch advocate for our youth. On behalf of the over 550 members of Alpha Cap Alpha Sorority Incorporated Omega Omega Chapter and the 1926 Foundation Incorporated, we respectfully request that City Council approve Bill Number 230576, renaming the Charles Baker Recreation Center to the Charles Baker and Carol Baker Rice Recreation Center to honor the legacy of service of Carol Baker Rice to the Philadelphia and specifically to the community who raised her. Thank you for your opportunity to speak. And thank you for your testimony. Do we have any questions for uh, for this testifier, for this witness? Do we have any questions at all? Okay, seeing none, thank you very much, Ms. Collins, for being here and for your testimony you. today. Very powerful. Uh, Madam Clerk, can you call the next person to testify? Yes, we had an Evelyn Sample Oats, but it looks like in 
her email, there was a typo or a mistake that was made and she didn't get um, the link to join. So I don't know if Darian, you want to try to send it again or if we should just move forward. Darian. Can you repeat that? Sure, Evelyn Sample Oats. There was um, an error in her email for sending out okay. the link. Uh, so if you could try to send it again, or if we should just move forward with the hearing. Okay, uh, give me one second, I'll send it out again. Uh, can you send me what the actual email is? Yes, so I did. Um, there's a, there's an A in between the O and the T. It seems like that was missed. Um, Got it. It's correct in, in, the, in the original email. Got Madam it. Uh, sure. well, while, while we're waiting for Ms. Evelyn Sample Oates, uh, the sponsor of the bill, Councilman Curtis Jones Jr., would like to make a comment, Mr. Jones, Councilman Jones. Yeah, thank, thank you, uh, Madam Chair. Baker Playground is the in the part of my district that needs it most. It is uh, in an area, uh, you might recall, Madam Chair, a couple of years back, seven people were at a beautiful basketball tournament and um, were shot. None of them were shot and killed. It wasn't fatal, but it illustrated how much recreation was needed in that part of my district. I want to uh, also thank uh, the AKA is because every year, every year, they would come out maybe 100 strong and paint, fix up, and redo that playground, for which I am forever grateful. To that degree, we have uh, dedicated um, an expansion effort uh, for that particular playground. You know, uh, as chair of uh, Parks and Rec, you got those Class B, Class C, rec centers that are nothing more than a, a big room. Yeah. We want to we want to give it the dignity uh, that it deserves and we're going to expand it there. And right there, if you look at that and have ever been there, you have a pool, you have uh, wonderful basketball courts, and in the back we uh, renovated through the help of the water department, a beautiful gazebo where back in the day, Madam Chair, bad things happened. Now weddings happen. Now, family reunions happen. And Excellent. I can't think of a better use of public land than that. So um, I'm grateful uh, for this opportunity and I wanted to give everybody an opportunity to speak before I did. Uh, so thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you so much, Councilman. Thank you for all of your work on this uh, very important project. We need our recreation centers to be, um, you know, just so much more and they have the potential um, you know, when we invest in them, when the community invests, when, you know, we've got folks from the neighborhood who are all in, it, it really pulls together and makes a difference. So we, we thank you. Um, I see we now have Evelyn Sample Oates with us. And so she might be frozen. Evelyn, can you hear us? I can hear you. Okay, great. Yeah. <laughs> great. Oh, please say you, you know the drill. Please state your name for the record and begin your testimony. Thank you. Good afternoon, Chairperson Bass and members of the Committee on Parks, Recreation and Cultural Events. My name is Evelyn Sample Oates and I am the Chief Communications and Community Affairs Officer for the Fairmont Park Conservancy. I come before you in support of Bill 230576, the ordinance to rename the Charles Baker Recreation Center to the Charles Baker and Carol Baker Rice Recreation Center located at 5433 Lansdowne Avenue in West Philadelphia. I had the pleasure and the honor to know Mrs. Carol Baker Rice up close and personal. As a sorority sister, a friend, and a family member, not by blood, but by love, and a staunch advocate for parks and recreation centers. Since the first day I met her over 20 years ago, she was the consummate advocate for parks and recreation centers for children in Philadelphia. Although she had already retired from the city, it was obvious in all her volunteer work and philanthropic giving that she believed in making every park in Philadelphia great and every recreation center a safe and viable place for children and families to grow. Her entire professional career was devoted to the work of parks and recreation. 
After serving for 35 years for Parks and Recreation and rising to the position of, of deputy commissioner, in her retirement, she never said no to volunteering or serving on committees that would enhance the quality of Parks and Recreation Centers. She worked tirelessly to spearhead programs at the Charles Baker Recreation Center, a community staple that would enhance the lives of people in the neighborhood, a center named after her hero, her father. Carol loved many things in this lifetime, but what she loved the most was family, the city of Philadelphia, and its people. She believed that every person had a right to quality parks, programs, and centers. Although we lost this great humanitarian, Carol Baker Rice, on June 17, 2023, I asked members of this committee to vote favorably for Ordinance 230576 and renamed the Charles Baker Recreation Center, the Charles Baker and Carol Baker Rice Recreation Center. And I want to thank Councilman Jones for his dedication and, and support of this recreation center from its inception and for all of his hard work to make sure that this center is a staple in that community. Thank you, Councilwoman, and thank you, members. Thank you so much for your testimony. Um, and I also want to acknowledge that Council Member Isaiah Thomas is present. Uh, Madam Clerk, is there anyone else to testify today? Yes, we have one caller in, and that would be Lurleen Jones. Oh, I'm sorry. I see Councilman Johnson has his hand raised. Councilman Johnson? Yes, I just want to take a moment and just um, commend Councilman Curtis Jones for acknowledging um, what I call the pretty girls with pearls. Um, <laughs> their dedication and service um, to, in the city of Philadelphia, but all throughout the country, as well as to humanity as well. And so I want to also commend Evan Sample Oates for always being on the front line and making sure the work that AKAs are doing mm -hmm. in this great city of Philadelphia is recognized. And they also have a track record of advocating around the issue of gun violence, right? Um, before it was the popular thing to get involved in, um, their particular sorority has always been on the front line hosting forums around this issue and making sure as a city, we can all work collaboratively together to address this as gun violence. Um, in the past, although I didn't have a chance to participate because I was kind of shy um, in a fashion show, I'm sure I would have gave Councilman Curtis Jones some work. I did see him pop out with some pink, a pink and green um, suit hookup um, when I first came to council participating um, in the AKA fashion show. I was just a little too shy um, at the time to participate, so I kind of stood down. But um, I just want to say keep up the good work. I think this is a great honor and a legacy. And also, more importantly, when um, young people, um, when people in general will walk past that recreation center, right, they too will ask um, the question. Um, they will also learn the history, right, and the great contributions of your sorority. And so I just want to say keep up the good work and, um, and God bless. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. Appreciate that. And uh, Madam Clerk, do we have the uh, caller on the line? Uh, I'm not sure. Is there Lurleen Jones? Hello. Miss Jones? Yes. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. And please state your name for the record and proceed with your testimony. Uh, my name is uh, Lurleen Jones. Uh, I'm a retired school teacher, but I've been friends with Carol Baker Rice for 60 plus years. Uh, Carol was my dear friend, and she was always someone that I could depend upon. There is no better person to be honored by renaming or adding her name to her father's name than to have Carol, Carol Baker Rice. Uh, she was a strong advocate for the Philadelphia community. Those of us who worked for her made sure that we made her proud. So I am very proud and thankful that you are going to name her, name the building after her, because it is well deserved. Cal is a true Philadelphia, a devoted friend. She was a devoted friend of mine for 60 plus years. And it's my pleasure to be part of this endeavor. Well, thank you so 
thank you so much for being here today and offering your testimony. And uh, we are uh, excited about this change, and we think it's uh, a great thing that Councilman Curtis Jones and and uh, you know the community and, and people like yourselves um, have worked to make it happen. So uh, we're just honored to do our part. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Jones. Um, Evelyn, did you have another comment? I saw you you were highlighted. Did you have another comment? No. Nope. Okay. No. All right. Uh, Madam Clerk, is there anyone else here to testify today? There are no other witnesses for this bill. Okay. Uh, there being no further questions from members of the committee, let me ask, are there any additional questions or comments from members of the committee? Okay. There being no further questions from members of the committee and no other witnesses to testify, I will ask if there is anyone else present in this hearing whose name I have failed to call and that wishes to offer testimony on any of on, on the bill being considered today. Seeing none, uh, I want to thank all the panels and witnesses for their participation today. We value your opinions and I now invite all panels and witnesses to please disconnect from the meeting before we go into our public meeting. We will now pause the proceedings briefly as multiple participants leave the hearing. Thank you very much for attend attending today. Okay. All right. This concludes one moment. This concludes the public hearing of the committee. We'll now go into a public meeting to consider the action to be taken on this bill before the committee today. And Madam Clerk, will you please call the roll to take attendance? And members that are in attendance will please indicate that you are present when your name is called and say a few brief words so that your image will be displayed on the screen when you speak. Madam Clerk. Councilwoman Gauthier? Present. Okay. Councilwoman Brooks? Present. Councilman Johnson? Present. Councilman Jones? Present. Thank you. Councilman Harity? Present. Councilman Thomas. Present. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. That'll be all. Okay. Um, a form of the committee is present, and I want to recognize Councilmember Gauthier for a motion on Bill Number Two Three Zero Five Seven Six. Thank you, Madam Chair. I move that Bill Number Two Three Zero Five Seven Six be reported from this committee with a favorable recommendation, and further move that the rules of council be suspended to permit first reading of this bill at the next session of council. Second. Second. Thank you. The chair notes for the record that Councilmember Johnson seconds the motion. It has been moved and properly seconded that Bill Number Two Three Zero Five Seven Six be reported from this committee with a favorable recommendation, and further move that the rules of council be suspended to permit first reading of this bill at the next session of council. All of those in favor of the motion will signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? No. Nope. The ayes have it and the motion carries. And this concludes the business before the Committee on Parks, Recreation and Cultural Affairs. I wanna thank everyone very much for your attendance today. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Madam Chair. Very well.